Hi guys, let's make this quick. Here are six common mistakes to avoid when chatting in the workplace. Let's start the countdown. Number one, I'm Trudy. That's right, you should know me by now. Using I am to introduce yourself is great when speaking to someone face to face. It's also perfect when you are clarifying who you are. In other words, someone is expecting you already. For example, I'm, hmm, I called earlier about an issue with my delivery. Or I'm, I have an appointment at half two. However, in a phone call, email or message, you should use my name is to introduce yourself for the first time. As a general rule, my name is is also considered more formal. For example, my name is Trudy. I'm emailing in regards to the position advertised on LinkedIn. Or, hello, my name's Trudy. I'm new here. Nice to meet you. Number two. As I'm sure you're aware, in the UK, we start making small talk by asking someone how they are. Common answers you are likely to hear include, fine, oh, knackered, or even, I could be better. One answer you won't hear is, nice. If you say, I'm nice, it means you have a kind personality. You can say that for your weekend, your day off, or a trip was nice, but a nice person is a good-natured, kind person. To answer, how are you, in a slightly positive way, why not try, not too bad, decent, pretty good. To be even more positive, you could say, I'm great, I'm brilliant, or I'm feeling amazing. Number three, there is some confusion around refreshing and when we can use it. Firstly, we do not use it to describe an experience or most commonly our time of work. Rather than saying, I had a refreshing weekend, you should say, I feel refreshed after the weekend. But why? Well, refreshing is a term for something unexpected and new. It's a compliment because a person, an idea or a concept is not the same as everything else. For example, it's great having a young person on the team. Their ideas are always refreshing. Or what a refreshing way to do business. It's amazing what new technology can do. Number four. We all get stressed during the week and usually do some sport or light-hearted activity to reduce that stress. That leads me on to our next common mistake. I play golf to relieve myself on the weekends. Now I know what you are trying to say, but relieve oneself is normally a polite term used to refer to someone who needs to go to the toilet. For example, it was awful. A random dog relieved itself all over my brand new bag. To correct this sentence, we would say, relieve my stress. However, this is not the most common term used. We're much more likely to say, I played golf to reduce myself, to relax, or to unwind. Unwind is a verb meaning rest and relax after work or a stressful task. For example, I like to read a book and have a glass of wine to help me unwind. Or, a trip to the Cotswolds is a popular way to unwind. Number five. Now let's talk about business trips. Of course, we may want to discuss these trips and tell people where we are going. Oh, I went to Slough for a business trip. Sounds very unnatural. Go on a trip, whether it be to the beach or a business trip, is the collocation we use. For example, hopefully I'll go on a business trip somewhere exotic next year. Or 
I never get invited to our company's business trips. Number six, our final error relates to discussing an action we did for the first time. If you already completed the action, met the person or visited the place, you cannot say, I have never. Instead, you must use, I had never. Why? Because at this point, yes, you have completed the action, but back then, no, you hadn't completed the action before. For example, I went to Birmingham on a business trip. I'd never been there before. Or, I finally met the CEO this morning. I'd never spoken to him before and I was so nervous. Alternatively, you can use the past simple tense and for the first time. For example, he seems nice, but I met him for the first time this week, so I'm not sure. Or, I led the meeting for the first time and it went really well, thank God. That's all six errors done and dusted. Have you ever mistranslated something at work? Did any of these errors surprise you? Comment below and we'll reply to our first responses. Check out our other common error videos linked below and I'll see you in the comments or in the next video.